The Findal Pure Flow 1000 eyewash station and cartridges, sold separately, are shipped in two cartons. Before beginning installation, make sure that you have Findal Pure Flow saline solution cartridges available to install with the unit. Check the shipping boxes for damage. If either box is damaged, contact the carrier. The Findal Pure Flow 1000 is fully assembled and includes the following items. The Findal Pure Flow 1000 station, a metal hanging bracket, a product registration card, an emergency eyewash sign, an installation and operation manual, a Findal Pure Flow cartridge installation kit. The kit includes an inspection tag and tamper evident seal. The Findal Pure Flow 1000 is not for outside use. Do not install the eyewash station in an outside location. The Findal Pure Flow 1000 must be placed in a well-lighted, accessible location within a 10-second walk from the hazard, per the ANSI Z358.1 standard. Mounting must support the weight of the unit, 100 pounds, 45 kilograms, plus weight of the individual leaning on it during emergency flushing. The top bracket must be 52 and 1 half inches to 64 and 1 half inches, 133 centimeters to 164 centimeters from the floor. Remove the station cover and mount unit onto the bracket. The unit must be level. The area beneath the station must remain clear. The station will not operate properly during use if this area is obstructed. Rotate the spigot 90 degrees clockwise. Mount the emergency eyewash sign, positioning it so the sign is highly visible. The unit may be mounted on optional Findal Universal cart or stand. Ensure that the drain spigot is closed by turning the handle to the rear 90 degrees clockwise. Remove the station cover by lifting up. Open the activating door. If replacing cartridges, be sure to unscrew plastic fastener and remove straps to avoid false activation. Raise waste reservoir to up position. Latch on housing by pressing back on latching tabs. Place two Fendal Pure Flow cartridges on the shelf. Nozzle assembly must be facing the front of the station. Pull green latch tabs forward to drop down waste reservoir, ensuring that platens are seated on bags and are not resting on the cartridge boxes. Replace station front cover. Remove rubber bands from activating straps and nozzles. Do not remove the white bands from the nozzles. This will cause an activation. Extend activating straps to the side. Do not pull or remove the straps. Slide and snap right nozzle into place on white nozzle plate. Slide and snap left nozzle into place on white nozzle plate. Position the two black straps over the top of the activation door with expiration date and batch number visible. Do not twist or cross straps. Close activation door. Position nozzle activating straps over top of door and down raised area on either side of the door handle so straps cover the labels on activation door. Push center pin and fastener until it snaps into place. Position tamper seal on middle right hand side of door. Half the seal must be on the door and the other half on the unit surface. Attach lock or inspection tag through tab on cover. Do not lift the activating door during inspection as it will start fluid flow. Once fluid flow has started, it cannot be stopped. Be sure to inspect all eyewash stations monthly to ensure the proper operating conditions per ANSI 358.1. Inspection records must be kept with the unit. The Findal Pure Flow 1000 is now equipped with RFID technology. This saves time on inspections and record keeping. Please contact your local sales representative or Honeywell customer care. The cartridge fluid expiration date is printed on each black strap and on the front face of each cartridge. Cartridges must be replaced on or before expiration date. Cartridges expire at the beginning of the month stated. Install new cartridges as described in cartridge installation. If warning, service immediately notice is visible, or if the activating door is open, replace cartridges immediately. The cover should be securely in place. Cartridge and fluid levels can be easily viewed via the inspection window on the front cover. 
If it is necessary to remove the cover for inspection, please deactivate cartridge straps by unscrewing the plastic fasteners. The drain must be in the closed position with the handle turned straight back. Be sure to keep the area around and most importantly, under the Fendall Pure Flow 1000 clear of obstruction and debris to ensure proper flow and activation. The unit is for emergency use only. Once activated, the flow will run for the full 15 minutes. Tampering with the eyewash station may result in unit malfunctioning in an emergency situation. In cases of severe eye contamination, the victim may need assistance in reaching the eyewash station and flushing their eyes. Instruct employees in the proper use of the eyewash station. This also assists in eliminating the curiosity activations. Regular training will keep employees aware of the location and proper use of eyewash devices. The sooner eyes are flushed, the less likelihood of damage. Pull the handle on the activating door. This action will expose basin and initiate flow. The injured person lowers head into flow. Using thumb and forefingers, fully open eyelids and flush eyes for 15 minutes. After flushing, seek medical attention immediately. Be sure to notify safety and supervisory personnel that the unit has been used and new cartridges must be installed. Place a suitable container under the waste reservoir drain. In order to release the waste fluid, open the drain spigot by turning the handle forward. When reservoir is emptied, close the drain spigot by turning the handle back. Dispose all of the fluid down a regular waste drain. Remove the station cover. Raise reservoir by lifting from below until it locks in position with the two latching tabs. Slide the nozzles out of the slots in the nozzle plate by gently lifting the tubing up at the nozzle connection and pulling straight out of the nozzle plate. Depress the release tab and slide the nozzle straight out of the nozzle plate. Remove the used cartridges and dispose in accordance with local waste management. Remove the activating straps by unscrewing the center pin of fastener and pulling fastener body out of door. Wipe down the basin and door with a damp cloth to eliminate saline residue. Replace cartridges as detailed in section installing the cartridges. The cartridge fluid expiration date is printed on each black strap and on the front face of each cartridge. The cartridges must be replaced on or before expiration date. The cartridges expire at the beginning of the month stated. Remove the activating straps by unscrewing the center pin of the fastener and pulling the fastener body out of the door. Remove the station's cover. Be sure to follow directions as detailed in installation. Full cartridges weigh 33 pounds. 15 kilograms each. Make sure to dispose of the cartridges properly. Cartridges may be drained and disposed of as regular waste.